Hey, y'all, oh, Crazy Pop here. So glad you're back with us. Today, we're going to try something brand new. I've never done this before. I've never tried this before. I've never even tasted this before. But there again, in my mind, like, man, this is going to be really good. I really do hope it turns out that way. If it don't, you'll know not to do this. But if it does, you can give it a try. We're going to do, I really don't know what to call this other than like a shrimp parmigiana kind of a thing. So I think that's what I'm going to call it, shrimp parmigiana on the Blackstone Griddle. Uh, it's going to be some Italian seasoned shrimp with a bed of fettuccine noodles and just all kind of other stuff mixed in. It's going to be really good, I do believe. We're going to try it out, see how it turns out. We'll find out. So in the meantime, if you're looking for any other recipes we may have done, look down below in the description. There's a recipe playlist link. Click on that link and it'll take you to all the recipes we've done in the past. If you don't see what you're looking for, hey, leave us a note in the comments. We love seeing new suggestions. I have seen a few new suggestions here recently, and I'm writing them down. I'm taking note, and I promise you, they're probably going to be made here pretty soon. And if they are, I'll probably give you a shout-out. Can't never tell. So let me know what you'd like to see me try to make. Keyword try. I'm not good at great at everything. I'm just, just a guy in his backyard making videos. So anyhow, you check that link out if you're looking for anything in particular. If not, let me know. We'll see what we can do about it. Now, also down in the description is a link tree. If you're looking for any other of our social media, our TikToks, our you know, Instagram, our Facebook, our Pinterest, all that kind of good stuff is also down there in that link tree. So visit all that after this video. May see something that interests you. Can't never tell. But for right now, we need to fire this thing up and show you some groceries. Let's get this cook started. Y'all, I'm going all four burners today. Going all four, all the way across, but I'm going to go down to a, a low set. I think I'm going to go all the way to low. And if we adjust... Like always, I'll tell you. Now here are the groceries. Here what we have before your very eyes is about two pounds of large peeled, deveined, uh, tailed off shrimp ready to go. I got one pound of fettuccine noodles back here already boiled up. I have some parsley chopped up. We have some egg for egg wash. We have some flour, Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. I got some fresh mozzarella, fresh Parmesan. We got some of the Blackstone Tutu Italiano. I hope that said it right. We have some Prego tomato and basil garlic. And y'all, I think that's all we're going to need for this. Now, while that griddle's heating up, let's go ahead and glove up. Try to, anyhow. Glove up. Yeah. And let's coat some shrimp. All right, let's get some shrimp. Put in the egg wash. And what I'm going to do is throw them in the flour. I did a couple and I learned what I should have done. So I'm going to show you what I should have done instead of what I did do. Get them all over here in the flour, like so. Then, put them back in the egg wash real quick. Then put them in the Italian seasoning. That way that breadcrumb will stick to it. You see the ones over here I've already done? Look how much better that one is. So, y'all do that. Go to flour, egg wash, flour, egg wash, breadcrumbs. There, that's a lot better. Yeah, let's do that. I'm seeing some white smoke coming off this griddle. That only tells me one thing. It's time to get some groceries up on this griddle. Now we're gonna put the shrimp down, but we gotta throw some oil down first and a good bit of it. Let's get a good puddle of oil going here. Oops, sorry about that. Let's get our shrimp on here, y'all. And we're gonna shallow fry this shrimp and it won't take it long at all. What I'm doing is just kind of laying this out to where I can uh, flip them real easy. Shrimp is on. I'm going to add a little bit more oil around some of them, get them fried good. I'm going to give you a close look at this beautiful griddle. Look at that right there, y'all. Man, this smells so good. It's looking even better. Now, don't be playing around too long. It's going to take this shrimp but just a second. It's going to be time to flip it. Let's go ahead and give them a flip, y'all. Man, look at that beautiful golden crust that's getting on these things. He's going to come through here and give them all a good flip. Wow, 
Wow, that is smelling and looking so good, y'all. Look at that golden brown on that crust, y'all. That is looking so, so good. Yeah, buddy, that's gonna be some good eating right there. Let's do that. You just put them over here, y'all. Stay warm. Get all this extra excess oil off here that we done did fry it in. All right, we got the shrimp over here hanging out. We just cleaned up the grid a little bit. Now we're gonna get ready to throw them noodles down. Now these noodles have already been boiled and they're soft, but they're cold. We gotta heat them up. We're gonna dump them on the griddle. Add a little bit of water. And just kind of break them up, y'all. There we go. There we go. That's the easiest way to reheat the noodles is just throw them on here, add a little bit of water, and just mix them up. So now what do we do? Well, I'm going to tell you. We're going to break out a cooler rack and... A Pyrex dish, I guess you call this. I don't even know what size it is. Just get you one. Throw it up here. Put your noodles in the best you can. There we go. Kind of spread them out. Now what I'm going to do, okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn these two far burners off. So... Only the two left-hand burners are going down. And they're still on low. So we're going to put that in the center right there. From here, I'm going to add a little bit of this Tutu Italiano on here. Just kind of sprinkle it up in them noodles. Like so. Give it some flavor. From here, I think I'm going to add a little bit of pasta sauce in there. Just kind of throw this up on here like this. Don't want it real heavy. We're not trying to make a spaghetti. Just kind of want to lightly cover it in there, like so. All right, now we got to put the shrimp down. So, we can just take it and start putting shrimp all over it, y'all. Like so. Now, I'm just going to put a single layer down, like this. I'm going to have some shrimp left over. But that's not a bad thing. Let's try to sneak one more on there. How's that? Now I'm going to hit a little bit more pasta sauce. Just kind of just drizzle over that shrimp just a little bit. Like so. Just a little bit. Just kind of give it some color on top of that shrimp. Then we can put down some mozzarella or mozzarella, however you say it. We're going to put some down. Just kind of put as much as on here as you want to, y'all. All right, right now, we're going to go ahead and cover this up, melt that cheese down a little bit. Let's get you a big dome. Add some steam in there. All right, y'all, let's see how the cheese looks. Oh, yeah, that's what we want. All right, y'all, let's grate some Parmesan up on this thing. Like that. Let's put some parsley up on this thing now. Let's do a little post-dusting now with some more Tutu Italiano. Get this on here. I don't know if this is going to be good, but it looks mighty good. I'm telling you, it looks really, really good. Y'all check this out. Y'all, look at this. We done did made. I don't know if it's going to be good. I really don't. It smells amazing. It looks really good. I hope it tastes near as good as it looks. And oh, by the way, yeah, we do have some leftover shrimp. But don't worry, they, they, they won't go to waste, I promise you. 
All right, y'all, this is actually pretty easy, and it smells, and well, you can see what I have painted up here. It smells amazing. It looks amazing. Hope it tastes that way. I'm gonna get some of the shrimp and try to get some of these noodles up on here. I'm not good at eating noodles, y'all. Mm. I'm gonna tell you what. I don't know if I made this right, but if I didn't, I don't want to be right, because this is good. This is delicious. Well, it must be good. Is it good, y'all? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everybody's quiet, so it must be good. What about you? Was it good? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this is the part you all don't see. Everybody behind the camera over here waiting on me to finish cooking. How's that saying go? If I'm wrong, I don't want to be right. So, hey, y'all got to try this out. Really easy weeknight meal. You cook your shrimp, go ahead and pre-boil your, your fettuccine noodles. You know, you can add whatever kind of seasonings you want. This Tutu Italiano, hope I'm saying that right. You can find it on the Blackstone website. I don't think it's sold in stores. You have to go order it off the Blackstone website. And that's what I did. I ordered two of them when I got it because I want to make sure I got some. And I'm so glad I did. It is delicious. You know, and that mozzarella and that Parmesan and just that parsley, all of it just comes together so good. This is amazing. That shrimp is so good. I just can't get over this. This is so good. So y'all try this out. Let me know what you do different. I would love to know. Let me know what you do the same, what you think about it. You know, I don't even know if this is what you even call this dish, but I like it. So with that being said, I got to run. One more thing. If you are still here, if you feel like it, please consider hitting that join button down below. It's just another great way to support this channel. We would love to have you here. Support the channel. Give you a big shout out. And hey, but no, no obligation. Really ain't. We love you either way. Thank you for the support, the thumbs up, the watching the videos, everything else. With that, I got to finish this up, and we'll see you next time.